Hey there guys, it's going? This is Dexford here, and welcome back to another Hero of Shadow slash Anime Studio slash just thing I wanted to show you guys update. And so, pretty much what we have going on here is, uh, this little character, his name is Mlaga Sensei, and he's from my Hero Shadow series. And, uh, he's basically gonna be the revamped version. Let me go ahead and render this so you guys can get a better look at him. And, uh, you will notice that, obviously, his head looks a lot better than... Uh, well, I guess his body here, and the reason for that is I just kind of import his head in from another file, from, like, his actual detailed file, and then just put the body in here, because the body was the main thing that I was working on, uh, rigging-wise, that's actually what I want to show you guys today, which is this little rig that I have going on here, and at first glance, this might look a little bit like a regular rig, but when you look over here at the layers, you'll notice that everything over here, this is all my stuff within this bone layer, and all I have is this foot layer, or I guess these feet layers, these eyes layers, this ears layers, the face layer, body layer, and something is a little bit curious about the body layer. You'll notice that all of these bones are actually within this one body layer, which is a little bit different from kind of like traditional rigging, where normally like you'd have a whole bunch of different layers and then bones within each one of those separate ones. And the reason why all these bones are actually in this one body layer is because I was doing something called bone binding, or at least I believe that's the term. If it's not, you can go ahead and correct me, but <laughs> I believe that's at least similar to what I'm trying to say. Um, which basically what that is, is I have this, this one layer here, and in this one layer, I have three separate parts. I have my body, and I have my left arm, and I have my right arm. And uh, <laughs> in uh, all of these different parts here, basically what I have going on is uh, originally I tried to do this with just one body. So basically I had these uh, arm parts conjointed um, or converged or merged, whatever, with this one big body layer here. But I found that didn't work for a number of reasons. One of them being um, when this part of the, uh, the arm crossed over in this uh, one body layer, uh, it became transparent, and so, uh, you know, that wouldn't really work unless I had a separate whole shape here. So, pretty much, uh, actually, let me show you a quick uh, example of what I mean, just so you guys kind of understand. So, because um, I just want to make uh, make that point, because that took forever to figure out, and I just, in the end, just didn't have a good enough solution. So, <laughs> pretty much, um, let's see. So, we have a little circle here, and if we bring this around kind of like this like you kind of got I can't really do it I guess right now unless I were to add a bone but you guys see how this is like kind of uh, transparent or invisible right here and I know it's just because this is kind of curved over like that but that's basically what was happening with this arm so when I go like or oops when I go like this um, right here the arm would become like transparent like this so that was a really big bother. So I ended up having to just, or rather wanting to, just make a separate little uh, shape on this one layer. So, um, basically, how this rigging works here is, and I haven't really seen a lot of people do this. Maybe it's just because it's so time-consuming or whatever. Uh, it actually took me three and a half hours to figure out because I had a really fun morning. But um, the reason is because I'd never really done anything like this before, so it was a bit of a challenge to figure out. But eventually, I ended up getting this rig, and as I was saying, um, this works pretty much like this. So, uh, I have this one shape in the middle, this one main body layer, and uh, I went in my bone layer, and I obviously put it in there, this body layer in the bone layer, and I created a bone um, all throughout this body layer, and then what I did was I clicked on one of the bones, and I went down to my body layer again, and went over here to where it says uh, bind points, and so from here, I'm going to click on that again, or wait, let's click on, wait, what? Oh, okay, here we go. Wait a minute, let me test something. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> Hang on, so, well, I guess I can actually show you guys real time. So what I did is I click on this layer here, and I go into my body layer, and um, all I did was, let me deselect these. I select the points that I want to be affected by this bone here. So I just went like this, and I went like this, and I want all these guys right here to move. I press spacebar to confirm it. And so now when I move these, we get a nice little subtle little kind of movement here. And a nice thing as well is um, I have a lot of these lines set up so that you see how it kind of curves in like that. Could kind of give the illusion that it's actually like it's kind of like fabric-y, kind of like curving in. Um, so that's really a nice feature. And then let's go back. And then the same goes for a lot of these other things too. Now the reason why it took me so long is obviously the first time I was actually doing this. And um, also, 
because the reason why there's so many points, like you'll notice there's a whole bunch of points strewn throughout this, um, throughout this character here. And the reason is, um, uh, from these bones, like when I move them around, uh, to, to move the character, a lot of these points will help to translate uh, everything where it needs to go and kind of sort everything out. So if I were to take away a lot of these points right here and right here, basically we just have a really solid movement. Look kind of like a really like really blocky character. But a lot of these points here help to let me go and render this. Help to like flesh out this stuff right here. So it actually looks like there's an arm under here, and you know it's actually like a moving arm itself. And another thing I did as well that I found out when I was kind of doing this here was a lot of these points are curved. So like this one right here, I basically just took a point and curved it, even though you can't really notice it. Um, even though it's kind of like a slight curve right there. Um, the reason I did that was because the same thing for the movement when you're moving around your arms and whatnot, your limbs, um, that you've set up with this rig or that I've set up with this rig. Um, <clears throat> uh, what will happen is you'll get kind of a nice, more, more rounded look and uh, that's kind of what I want for this character because I wanted to look more arm like so like a real organic uh, kind of being <laughs> if you will so that's kind of why I rounded this out and a lot of what I was having problems with as well is that this is like right behind here as well so that's kind of why the, <laughs> the hand is right there um, but a lot of what I was having problems with too was the line so if I if I render this again um, You'll see this line right here kind of shows up very nicely, right where it's supposed to. And, uh, you know, there's not like a solid line going right here, so it's, it looks like it's kind of cut off from the arm. And it took me a long time to actually set this all up, but what I did is if I straighten this out here and I render this, you'll notice right about here and here, um, I basically uh, got rid of those lines by using uh, the tool right here, the hide edge tool. And uh, I left some of these other ones over here just so I could have a nice little outline. But then as I kind of went over here, um, kind of closer to where the lines are disappeared, uh, I basically just got the edges and, uh, oops, wrong point. <laughs> uh, these two points right here, uh, I made their edges pretty much like all the way to zero. So it looks like it really blends in. So the more you kind of uh, go inward for the lines, it just kind of goes away. And it really blends in nicely. And uh, it doesn't really make make it so you need to actually have lines there and it really looks good for for this character at least so anyway um also i don't know if i mentioned this earlier but this is actually going to be the revamped version of laga sensei uh for hero shadow uh the reverb series or reverbed <laughs> basically i'm revamping the series and this is going to be the uh the new version of laga sensei and so, anyway, I'm not exactly sure whether this rig is going to work out for all my characters. Like, if I'm going to use it for the rest of the characters. It is really nice, mind you. And I do like working with it a lot more than layers. Um, the only problem is, like, with this whole rig, um, is, like, you really have to, because all these points are set up to work with this specific body type, uh, with this specific character, if I was changing up characters, um, I'm not exactly sure how much work I'd have to do uh, to be able to get everything the way I want it with the points and whatnot. So, uh, same goes for the lines and stuff. So, I'm not exactly sure uh, if it's going to be used uh, for other other files and characters. Um, but, I don't know. I'm definitely going to try it out. But I really, really like this rig. So, anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that. And, um, yeah. I mean, if you guys want to go ahead and use it, I pretty much told you guys how it all works. And you guys can test it out for yourselves and stuff like that. Also, his ears move and stuff, too. I pretty much, like, for his whole entire body, uh, I put this rig on. And, it, I mean, it was really annoying, too, um, as I said earlier, because there are so many, like, different points and, and stuff that you have to put out. Um, but overall, if you can eventually just figure out kind of what goes where and uh, where everything is supposed to bend and stuff, um, you can get a really nice and really easy to work with rig. That's one of the things I really love. Uh, with this, but as you can see, his little ears can go down and stuff like that. I shouldn't be talking about him as a cute little character, because really, he's a he's a ninja master, or ninja sensei, and I need to obviously fix some of the points going on with there, um, or with this ear. This ear is kind of like a test ear, so, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys, um, and I mean, hopefully, guys at least enjoyed watching this, and enjoyed checking out my rig, my, uh, my little homemade, um, uh, bone binding point rig whatever the heck you want to call it and um wow that was like a really big blah, that little blah. <laughs>
<laughs> Alright, well, anyway, I'll let you guys go. So, uh, until next time, guys, feel free to comment, rate, this is, uh, and maybe subscribe, whatever, you guys know what to do. And, uh, until next time, until next video, this has been Rex Furry. I'll see you all then.